This is the strongest college field ever. I mean, and, and we say that every year, they just keep getting better. 330 of the nation's best young anglers have gathered to compete for the most prestigious trophy in college fishing. It's an exciting event, the biggest event of the year by far. And uh, it's, it's the pinnacle of college bass fishing. And we can't wait to participate. It's gonna be an awesome event, a lot of big bags caught. It's Championship Week at the 2018 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. The playing field for this week, Pickwick Lake, has been on fire this year, and anglers are expecting big weights. I'm thinking we'll probably have to be uh, close to 40 pounds to win it. Anywhere from 18 to 22 a day is going to keep you right in it. And that's, I mean, that's a big weight, but they keep you right in the top of it. There's a lot of fun in store here in Florence, Alabama over the next few days with lots of food, plenty of prizes, and most importantly, tons of fish catches. That's a number five right there. Come off in the net. Coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's begins now. Give me the boat front, Woo! How about that one? Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Silly! New Big Bass of the Tournament! There's your chances right there, folks! Welcome to Florence, Alabama and McFarland Park for coverage of the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. This tournament is a week-long event designed to celebrate both the anglers and sponsors who make it all possible. The festivities for the week kick off on Tuesday with Yamaha Angler Appreciation Night. The Yamaha Angler Appreciation Night is just incredible. You know, we're giving away a bunch of prizes, raffle, so it's just incredible for us to be able to give back to those anglers that are, you know, support our brands. Yamaha Angler Appreciation Night provides these college students with the opportunity to get away from the rigors of tournament fishing and hang out with their fellow competitors. That's not to say there won't be some friendly competition. The Flip, Pitch, and Cast contest puts these anglers' skills to the test. The angler who records the lowest score and wins the final challenge will earn an awesome prize package. That's not the only thing going on tonight. Various sponsors have set up booths, providing information on their equipment and conducting prize drawings to send these anglers home with some cool free stuff. Anglers can also participate in Panoptics demos with Garmin and take test rides in Yamaha-powered Ranger boats. So this week's a lot of fun. Obviously, we're passionate about college fishing. Tonight in particular, having the guys in our boats, being able to kind of have some of that one-on-one -on -one dialogue is a lot of fun. It's one of, the, one of the events this week that I look forward to the most. And we're obviously proud to be a part of this, to see the sport grow into what it's become today, and, and just excited about what the future is. A night designed to celebrate the angler. Yamaha Angler Appreciation Night also gives these students the chance to shake hands and talk one-on-one -on -one with some of the top representatives in the industry. For former collegiate anglers, they look back on this night and realize how valuable this opportunity truly is. For me, networking was crucial. You come to these events tonight, you'll meet all sorts of, you know, factory reps from Yamaha, you'll meet marketing um, directors from Yamaha, you'll see all sorts of different vendors and that gives you, you know, not everybody's going to go fish professionally, but we all are going to want to give back to the industry and we're also all going to want to work in the industry. So it's just incredible to be able to have one central location each year to come and learn more about each and every one of these brands and then be able to, you know, make those connections to further their career after they graduate. With Yamaha Angler Appreciation Night in the books, everyone's clearing out of McFarland Park to head back into Florence to begin their final preparations for tournament day. Although the lake gets the majority of the headlines in the tournament fishing community, Florence is a great host city, making this a premier destination for events such as this. Our, our town is a wonderful spot to have this tournament. I mean, we got the greatest people around and uh, you know, we got Pickwick Lake. I wish y'all would always be here. I wish y'all didn't go to all any other lakes. Just come to Pickwick any time of the year. But uh, yeah, the lake attracts a lot of tourism, so it brings a lot of money to our, our town and helps our town out a lot. Florence offers a wide variety of activities to do away from the lake. The downtown area offers a welcoming environment with great restaurants, shops, and lodging. Downtown is a beautiful area. It's really grown with the Big Bad Breakfast coming in. There are several boutique hotels that are opening and you can wander the streets and you can have ice cream in a hundred year old ice cream shop.
Celebrating its bicentennial this year, Florence is a beautiful city with a population of more than 40,000 people. Located in the northwest portion of Alabama, Florence draws visitors from both near and far. For those travelers making the trip to the area, they're all taken aback by the beauty and comforts of this quaint Alabama town. When people come here, I hear it every year or every time an event comes here, somebody says, wow, I had no idea that Florence looked like this or that Alabama looked like this. And it, for us, it doesn't get any better than that to have those good words. To plan your next trip to Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama, go online to visit FlorenceAL.com. Time now for our first break. And when we return, we'll head over to registration night where anglers are treated to a meal and plenty of free products from sponsors. We'll also begin to set the stage for the fishing conditions out on Pickwick Lake this week. Stay tuned for more coverage of the 2018 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we stand together for you. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. We're here for the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. And you know, this is an event I get to come to every year and I wouldn't miss it because as a professional angler, I can tell who is gonna be here, who's got a chance to be a professional angler, go that next level. But I meet a lot of guys here that are just gonna be part of the industry. And when you meet the professionals that are in the industry now, you find a lot of guys that competed in the Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship. You know, it's crazy. Four years ago, um, I was sitting in the room, eating the dinner and listening to a speaker. And uh, four years later, um, I've had a lot of success uh, being a professional fisherman. In this room tonight, at the Angler and Sponsor Banquet, are some of the fishing world's brightest young stars. Throughout the past decade, the quality of the competitors has evolved. And this year's field is one of the most stacked lineups in the history of this event. It's unbelievable what college fishing has done over the last five years. I mean, it's growing just every year. I mean, you come to these tournaments and you see all the, the awesome collegiate anglers and uh, a lot of them end up being professional anglers. And uh, we couldn't do it without sponsors. I mean, all the sponsors, when you walk through the line, they give you the free stuff. And uh, we love this collegiate anglers. We hope that some of these guys will learn, that don't know about our baits, will learn about them this week with, from the samples that we give them. And maybe they'll decide they like Big Bite and start purchasing and using it. The relationship between the sponsors and anglers is a two-way road. The competitors get free product and other items at discounted rates, and the sponsors gain exposure for their brand along with growing their client base. The sponsors realize the importance of this demographic of anglers to the industry. Knowing these competitors could move on to participate at higher levels, the sponsors are proud to dedicate their time and resources to this event. It's really important to us to support these young anglers coming up through the ranks because this is our next wave of customers and tournament anglers and the guys that are going to be the faces of the sport coming up. It's showing that those next generation of anglers other our brand of products and we're hoping to establish relationships and watch them grow into the, the FLW or the Bassmaster and watch them just keep continuing their career and growing. In order to maintain a career and grow as a professional angler, you have to be able to catch fish. On hand tonight are two anglers who've experienced a lot of success and won at the highest level in each of their respective tournament trails. And they like the way Pickwick Lake is setting up this week. I think that they're gonna have a, you know, you're gonna have a good show and you're gonna have a lot of fish caught. It's the perfect time of the year to be on the Tennessee River. The fish should just now starting to be getting grouped up outside on these ledges and stuff, which is what the Tennessee River is known for. Springtime's over, summertime's here. It's been in the 90s every day for 
going on a couple weeks now and those fish are just piled up out there on the ledges. There's as many schools I think as I've ever seen on the lake. I'm really excited for these guys. They're going to catch a lot of bass and catch a lot of big ones this week. Weather is not expected to be a factor the next two days and conditions are setting up well for this event to be dominated by the ledges. All of the standard baits used to target offshore fish will be in play. Pretty much anything you can think of to throw deep, we're going to be throwing it this week. Anything from a 10XD to a drop shot to a football jig, anything that, just your typical ledge baits and we're just going to keep firing, hopefully we can fire a couple schools up. Firing up these deep water schools is key to triggering a lot of bites. Based on the reports from the competitors at the Angler and Sponsor Banquet, there will be plenty of fish caught in the coming days. Coming up after the break, we take a look back at the season so far. Highlighting the chase for Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. With a champion being crowned following the conclusion of day two weigh-in, which school is sitting poised to claim the title? Find out next. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom-crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four stroke, the all new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four strokes. At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's VTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. Reel down to the water until it's rip and drag. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat US. We're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Gemini Jerseys. The leader in custom fishing apparel. And by Denali Rods. Experience the Denali Advantage. Welcome back to coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. The journey for these anglers to get to Pickwick Lake this week has been a long and challenging one. The chase for the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia began over 11 months ago and the first ACA event of the season was held in February. At this kickoff event for the 2018 season, anglers took out onto Sam Rayburn Reservoir for the Texas Lunker Challenge presented by Mossy Oak Elements. Cold, windy pre-spawn conditions greeted the field, creating tough fishing on this famed body of water. Scott Ellis from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville won the event with 9.64 pounds. And the chase for the school of the year was quickly on everyone's mind. Some awesome school of the year points. Um, hopefully we can make a run at it. We finished top five last year, I believe, and it would be great, I mean great to win it. Um, we'll see where we stand after this. We ought to be way up. Following the Texas Lunker Challenge presented by Mossy Oak Elements, Bethel University made the jump into first place, followed by Northwestern State University in second and LSU Shreveport in third. 
The next stop in the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series sent the anglers to a flooded Kentucky lake in Paris, Tennessee. Each of the past two years, the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley has been impacted by adverse weather conditions. Due to flooding, Kentucky Lake was almost 10 feet above normal at the time of this event. However, the anglers oh, still fish. managed to catch quality fish. Brian Paul weighed in a 9.22 pound beauty on day one, which earned him overall top prize. Entering this event with a significant lead in the Cabela School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, Bethel was looking to create more distance between them and second place. Coming in this tournament, we, we were in first place, I believe, in School of the Year. And we had another another top five finish, I believe, so this should should help in school of the year. We were looking for two solid top ten finishes. And Bethel achieved just that, with two anglers finishing in the top five of the overall standings. This showing helped to improve their lead to more than 600 points over the second place school, the University of North Alabama. And Auburn made a solid jump to position themselves in third upon leaving Kentucky Lake. Entering the final event of the year here at the championship, the School of the Year race is the main topic of discussion. We're in third place right now. I think Bethel's got a pretty big lead, so we're going to have to hope that a bunch of us can put it together and hope that a bunch of them don't. We're sitting second, um, hoping to stay in that spot. Bethel's got a huge lead right now. They fish great all year, but we're really proud of our team. You know, everybody's worked together. We've We've had a good show with a bunch of different guys on the team placing high, so uh, we're just going to try to finish strong. We've been blessed this year. We've had an awesome year. God's been good. Um, every tournament we've fished, we've had, we've had guys place in the top ten, top five, just about. So we're just uh, praying that uh, we'll do good in this uh, national championship. Hopefully praying that we'll win it and uh, take, take home the whole thing. On the eve of the first day of tournament competition, here's a look at the standings. Bethel University has expanded their lead to more than 630 points over second place. In that second spot is Auburn University. And completing the top three is the hometown school from the University of North Alabama. Now that the stage is set, after the break, we'll go to day one launch where anglers are eager to make their way out onto Pickwick Lake in search of the winning fish. Day one coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's begins next. Time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original Powerbait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. Here at Big Bite Base, we've got a big line of different plastics, and you know they're all a tool, so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there. Just a six-inch Big Bite Creek tail worm. Here at Big Bite, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors.
when I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works. It works, dude. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Gill, Dress Like a Pro, Hydrowave, Ignite a Feeding Frenzy, and by Costa Del Mar Sunglasses. See what's out there. I mean, it's going to be a good day, I think. Uh, fish are out there. They're this, some of the biggest schools in this lake I've seen in a long time. It's morning on day one of competition for the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Trucks are pulling through the parking lot, boats are being backed into the water, and anglers are excited for the tournament to begin. Pretty awesome. Never been a, to this big of a tournament, you know, but coming from Canada, we've never really had this big of a tournament, this many boats, so. We're going to see what happens. We're going to shoot for the fences, see if we can get five big fish. Fish are in their early summer patterns positioned out on the ledges. And the goal for these anglers is to find the five right bites by the end of the day. With the fish setting up out deep, Pickwick Lake could fish very small the next two days as these massive schools of fish position in only a few key areas. Early on today, anglers are strategizing and trying to figure out a way to compete with the expected crowds. The biggest challenge is going to be uh, getting away from everybody else. All the community holes are packed up and everybody knows it. Everybody's going to be on the same stuff. We're going to go out and see if we can't hop on a ledge that no one else is sitting on. See if we can pick up five. Summertime ledge fishing can be a difficult way to fish. A true test of these anglers' patience and determination. A school of fish can sit dormant a majority of the day, unwilling to bite. But in a matter of seconds, that same school can turn on and a team can fill the boat in 15 minutes. The biggest key to staying focused is confidence. I mean, you have to feel confident. If you feel bad in the morning, you don't think you're gonna catch them, you're probably not gonna catch them. So you just gotta stay positive, especially ledge fishing. You really don't know what's gonna happen. You, we don't know where we're gonna be able to get on. We got, you know, seven or eight schools marked that we're just gonna try to run and see what we can get on. And you, you just gotta stay positive throughout the day. You never know when you're gonna catch on. And we, even if we ain't got a fish by 12, you still have to stay positive. We got a long day today. So we'll just see what happens. Leading up to the start of the event, winning weight estimates ranged anywhere from 43 to 51 pounds. Pickwick Lake is filled with quality fish capable of producing a 25 plus pound bag. Going into day one, teams have a solid idea of the weight they're shooting for. Probably gonna take 18 to 22 to stay in contention. There's always gonna be somebody that's gonna go out there and smoke them. Someone will have 23, 24, 25 pounds. It's out there to be had but it's just a matter of can you get on your spot with everybody else out there today. The early boat numbers in the field are beginning to make their run to the first spot of the morning. We'll take the time now to familiarize you with the format for the next two days. Takeoff will begin at 6 a.m. with the first flight of boats being due back in at 2.30. Teams are allowed to lock up to Wilson Lake. Lock times are subject to change based on commercial barge traffic. Each tournament day, anglers will bring in their best five fish and the highest two-day cumulative weight will be crowned champion. We start the morning by joining the second place school in the standings for the Cabela School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, Auburn University. Drawing a late boat number, they've arrived to their first spot and are pleased not to be dealing with the crowds everyone was foreshadowing at launch this morning. We didn't think we'd be able to get on this this morning. When we pulled up, it was only one boat and it was some of our good friends. So we all started fishing for a little bit. There's one. He don't feel big. Right there, I've got it hung on this stuff. There's a little one. That ain't what we need. Uh, no, we ain't keeping this trigger. There he is. There you go. No. 
<laughs> the UNA team of Doss and Pardue are hooked up with a possible keeper fish. Working a finesse presentation along a main lake river ledge, they are hopeful that this fish will measure. Just kidding. Uh -huh. That fish goes in the box, and this team from the University of North Alabama is working on an early limit. We go now to the current School of the Year leaders, Bethel University, and the team of Hunter Loudon and Cole Walker. The two have confidence in the pattern they're running this morning, but Walker, a local here on Pickwick, says the lake is not fishing like it normally would this time of year. The lake is fishing really weird. Uh, it's unlike I've ever seen it, and I live here. It's uh, It seems like the fish are truly trying to be offshore, and they're offshore in a lot of places, but they're not in their usual places. Um, they're all in a lot of different areas. Um, doing different things than normal. So uh, it's going to be interesting. I think that what's going to come down to is the guys who have two or three spots that are a little bit different than everybody else. That's what's going to make the difference. And the guys who win, the guys who just place like the rest of everybody else. There's a big one. Big. Or there's one. He may not be big. I have him size. He ain't that big. He ain't that big. Keep fishing, Bubba. Uh, current's pretty, current's pretty, pretty key. Um, if you don't have something shallow, if you're a deep fisherman and that's all you're doing is deep fishing, then uh, it it means everything. Thankfully, we've got a few places that are a little shallower, um, but for the most part, what everybody's catching them is deep. So, uh, what that current does is it makes them position themselves on a on, on a ledge to where you can catch them. Um, otherwise, they spread out. That, that current makes them group up in one spot. So uh, instead of one, one fish seeing your bait, you know, 40, 50, 100 may see your bait at a time. And so I like my odds a lot better with that current. And so that's why no matter what happens this morning, whether we have just one fish when we leave here, we got five, no matter what happens, I'm going to be confident we're going to catch them simply because of that current. Bites are not hard to come by so far this morning, and the current should only pick up as the day progresses, making the bite even better. On the next episode of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, day one action continues, and patterns begin to prevail as anglers gain confidence out on Pickwick Lake. But we're on the right fish. It's just a matter of getting the right ones to bite. I think we're on the fish to even win. And find out who's sitting at the top of the leaderboard after day one weigh-in. Thanks for watching coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. This has been a Carico TV production. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle Coolers, go with the original. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods. Tournament tested and tournament tough.